Tina, Warthog Princess. Welcome, welcome back. This video is a review and comparison of the Vera Bradley Utility Tote versus the Weekender and the Grand Traveler. Now, I know there are other bags in the travel bag spectrum. I just wanted to give a quick comparison since we had talked about it when I did the haul for this bag. This is the Utility Travel Bag in Java Navy Camo. It is recycled cotton. It is padded but not quilted. And I, I like that it's neutrals but very feminine. Anyways, um, so I got this to add to my travel bag collection. I bought it on the online outlet sale a couple sales ago. Um, but here we go. So basically it is a, it is a pretty large travel bag. It is, I believe, TSA compliant. But compliant or not, it will fit under the seat in most airplanes definitely will fit in the overhead. If you have it super stuffed, of course, that changes things with any bag, it's true. Um, but this is the base of the bag, so you can see it actually is quite a large bag. Um, but if you pack it with soft stuff, you can squish it, you know, yeah, there you go. Or to fit under the seat, you might have to lay it on the side. I do think this would be a tough fit for many airlines these days. Um, I would say probably not TSA compliant, now that I said all that, but anyways. There you go, it is still a great travel bag, especially for road warriors and whatnot. Um, there you go. So, big travel bag, it has carry handles, which you can put over your shoulder. Um, if you have the bag really full, your arm will stick out, of course, but it does fit over your shoulder, even for a big girl like me. It has a crossbody shoulder strap that's removable, and it is a seatbelt strap. It has no padding, but it is adjustable. And then it has metal fittings on the end. There you go. So it has that. On the front of the bag, it has a pocket. Now, I would love it if this was like uh, magnetic or whatever, but it's not. It's a clip. So you actually have to release the clip to open that, which could be good. You know, it's secure for other reasons. But it's a decent sized pocket. It has about a finger width thick of its own gusset. And it does have that flap closure, so it will keep things from just sliding out. Um, if you want quick access, just don't connect the clip and just let it hang. That's up to you. That's the only pocket there on the front part. The side has a pocket on both sides. Really generous, deep cargo pockets on both sides. And the one on this side has a cinch on it, so you can cinch it down. You also can unclip it. So if you wanted to clip something on there, you can do that as well whether it's a bag charm, a hand sanitizer, a travel pillow, whatever, it's up to you. On the front, wait, let me say this right. Yeah, on the front handle, there is also that utility loop that's sewn on. You can clip things on both sides of that if you so desire. I'm not sure um, specific intentions, but you can clip things on. On the back of the bag, it does have a trolley sleeve. A very generous full back panel size one so there it is it doesn't have a zipper to act as a slip pocket but I suppose if you sewed that bottom down you could use it as a big slip on the back there's a zipper pocket on the back I guess it's supposed to be your laptop compartment it has um, it's not a, a deep I mean it's deep this way and it's all the way across but it's not a uh, deep this way <laughs> If that makes sense so laptop folders magazines that kind of stuff would fit very nicely in that folder it's kind of a flat pocket and then you have the main section and it's a fairly simple bag inside you have nothing on the front on the back you have two mesh elastic pockets that's it but it is a very large bag so again um, you might be able to fit it under your seat depending on how you have it packed but it is definitely um, I would say not TSA compliant so but it's a beautiful bag and will be great for road trips and any other kind of things. Then you have the Weekender. This one is an Indigo Pop. This is an older version. It has come out in several different iterations now, um, but all very similarly sized and configured. So you have the top handles, you have metal fittings with removable adjustable, but you didn't have side cargo pockets. You had a slip in the, I mean a trolley sleeve in the back, but you had two slips on the side as well. And those are actual pockets on the sides. On the front, you had a double zipper opening pocket. In that pocket, you have no organization, but you do have a nice big pocket. This was 
old school Vera. Back in the day, you had um, the trim. I like the, the trim patterns incorporated as well. There you go. Okay, so that's outside. The handles themselves have a little bit less strap drop, so they do fit on my shoulder, but they're, they're rolled handles and they tend to do that, so you get one on and one off all the time. This, the inside has a little more organization. You have two big slips on one side and they are fabric. And on the other side, you have three slip pockets there. The bag itself is still pretty big. Um, so when you look base to base, let's see if we can see those side by side, pretty comparable. So definitely the same class of size and style of bag. So there you go. Um, some of the new ones have slightly different configurations, different fabrications, etc. But basic weekenders, a weekenders, a weekender for the most part. This strap also, by the way, is a has a pad on it in the fabric, and it's a woven handle or strap, but it's um, like a canvas style woven strap, not a seatbelt per se. It's still adjustable. Okay, so that's the weekender, and then the next size up. So the original two big travel bags with the Weekender and the Grand Traveler. The Grand Traveler is the larger of the two. I would say that on the whole, let me see if I can put all three of these together. The base is about the size of a Weekender, but when you look at the total size of the bag, it's really more of a Grand Traveler size, which is slightly larger than the Weekender, if that makes sense. So again, the Utility tote is larger than the Weekender. So the Grand Traveler is a little bit different than the Weekender. It has the same style handles, at least in this iteration. There also is a, what is it called? Grand Weekender, which is like a combination of the two names, but it's larger than the, the Grand Traveler. So there you go. This one has a magnetic flat pocket with multiple magnets to close it. This one is in um, Midnight Blues, which was my first love. It's just a big slip there with a flap closure. And again, trim patterns. I really wish Vera would bring those details back because those finishing things are just so nice. Um, it does have metal fittings again. It has the same back as the Weekender. It has the trolley sleeve in the middle with a slip on either side. A really pretty pattern though. And then inside, just like the Weekender, you have pockets, but in this case you have two on the back and two on the front. Your strap is once again the same. You have the pad and the fabric, which has the interior and exterior pattern, and then the canvas strap. So there you go. Um, that is a quick look, but a quick comparison to see where the utility tote fits into the line of things, if you will. I will put some links here for like my um, weekender lineup. Um, I think I did a spectrum of travel bags as well. So I'll put a couple of videos for you there if you want to look at the broader spectrum of bags. But that's it for this one. Hope you're doing well. Happy St. Patty's Day. See you again soon. Bye for now.